How is everybody... I can't believe that. How's everybody doing today? There we go. Doesn't make sense. Nothing makes sense, Saga. Nothing is true. Hmm. I was, <laughs> oh, good. Just a couple of rhymes here. Um, <laughs> I, I really would like no. to just play some watery. Um, I, I want to. Uh, I want to play Stray. I just haven't... I just have a hard time um, spending the money on it. I really need to catch it when it's, like, on sale. Actually, there was, I did, I did two rhymes. Not that that matters, but, okay. Case boards updated. This is a Sasuk. <laughs> yes. Uh, oh, all right. There's, so there is some stuff in watery. I still need to get. Hey, how's it going? It's going. It's so quiet now. <sighs> Feels like I've suddenly gone deaf. Those old folks sure can get loud. That's and that's why you're not nice to people at work, Ragoon. I thought I taught you that. This that's why you fucking keep your mouth shut and just lock in. Oh, hey, look, a page. True. I forgive you, Dragoon. I forgive you. Ooh. Oh, hey, look. Oh, hey, look, hunting rifle ammo that I... Ooh. I, I've seen the opening scene, Dest. Um, it's heart-wrenching. It's heart-wrenching. Um, it made me want to go adopt cats. And I'm like, I already have a mean older cat who would not be cool with me adopting another cat. So. I want to, but I can't. Another cult box. Another cult box. Uh, sorry, I'm gonna. I, I've. I remember looking this particular cult box up. Um. Uh, nope. Last time too, because I'm like, I'm not doing fucking math. Um. Ooh. Yeah, I, here's the thing. I I don't want to risk it. Um six. I I don't want to risk it. Curtis, I I've definitely seen like TikToks and stuff of people being like, "Oh yeah, I introduced my older senior cat to um you know this um to this 
new baby kitten and it's adorable and um <clears throat> And I'm like, oh, that's so cute. And then, I don't know. I just... My cat is really lovey-dovey with people. Uh, she just hates other animals. We, um... Oh, we had a puppy for a weekend. And it did not go well. Yeah, Dragoon, enjoy your pet-free space for a while. Especially, Dragoon, after what you went through in particular, I would say you're you're allowed to um, have a have a pet free space for for a minute. Cats are weird. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um. Okay. I'm I'm gonna take the hunting rifle with me, actually. I know well this is this is sketchy. This this might not be a good idea, but we're gonna do we're committing. Um, <clears throat> we're committing. We're going to do it. All right. Sorry. Um, my wife and I have pretty much already decided that we're uh, going to be uh, pet free. Um, after my cat passes, at least for a little bit. Um, But, yeah. Oh, big painkillers, thank you. <sighs> I think there's also going to be, like, you know, sadness and trauma. Because I've had this cat 10 years at this point. 12 years. Um, and, uh... It, it, when when she passes, I'm going to be, I'm going to be sad. Oh, I'm sorry, Curtis. Eat him. Patricor, what are you up to today? How are you? Sorry, I don't know why I said that so weird. was back yeah you were i wasn't able to escape oh you were not a dark presence had stopped me got him um my cat will climb I'd up seen the title page of another manuscript return i didn't remember writing it but it felt familiar important Sorry. i had to find it um My cat will climb up on me occasionally, and it's adorable. Um, but also, she only picks, like, the worst times to do it. Like, when I'm, like, in the middle of doing something, and, or I'm about to get up. And she's like, mm-mm-mm. I don't think so. The plot board was empty again. Mm -hmm. I needed a new draft back at the beginning, but closer to my goal. As cats do, it's true. Uh, oh, part one, we sing. Uh, what I have to just. Or do I just start writing? I'm. I, listen, I'm not going to. But somebody said, yeah, I just start writing. I would write a new draft of initiation to reach Parliament Tower using Death. another murder site. You will have a good Scratch time running was reaching out from the dark place to get Alice. She was out, but still in danger.
welcome. Our guest tonight is Alan Wick. This time we wanted to do something. I was back, and I hadn't died. forgotten. He is I knew how this worked now. I could take control, no more surprises. What demons he wrestles with in the dark hours of the night. Together with our house band, the divine old gods of Asgard, we have created something very special. The song is called Herald of Darkness, but I like to call this next segment the story of the journey of Alan Wake, the musical. Incredible. We'll just do what we always do. We'll chat. The music video. Instead of talking, we'll sing it. Oh, Alan. Oh, Alan. Right? It could not be opened on the side. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. All right. Ellen's breaking the fourth wall over here. Sorry, I don't even feel like I can talk right now. Oop. So you would draw to stories early on. My dreams would light up my imagination. And you had nightmares night and day. Yeah, but with the clicker, I chased those frights away. Ooh, you so true. So here. See, and here's the thing, really quick. Um, the whole game is telling you that Scratch and Alan are the same character. The whole game. So I, what and this is, is happening it in is, this game, it is a dream. dude? I, is this, this is the dream? like the first moment that you're like, you're just like jamming out. You're not paying attention to the fucking lyrics. They tell you right here. All right? Show me the champion of light. But I figured, oh, maybe it's one of us. And I'll show you the no, champion of, or was, the herald of darkness. I was running from the mimic. It's the same character. And it was like, wait for me, I got little legs. <laughs> it was so creepy. <laughs> That's what <hilarious. laughs> Oh man. Welcome in, Bane. Um anyways, sorry. Feel 
Well. I missed that last time. Oh, Alan. have like a fun fucking no apparently not I forgot that there was fighting in this section It's true, Petrichor. True. Well, this is the very first thumbnail for my very first playthrough of Alan Wake. So when he's going over the bridge, or going under the bridge, his, heart, his heart's falling out of his pelvis. Oh no! Oh no, they're taking all of his stuff! Oh no, Alan! What will you do? Oh, they gave him a gun and a flashlight? So, fun fact. This character here, this, this musician. So, he is Boulder. In the Alan Wake lore... Uh, he died in the 80s. Like, the, the, old odds, the old gods of Asgard used to be a three-piece band with uh, Tor, Odin, and Boulder. Boulder died um, in the 80s. And that's what kind of led to, like, the initial, like, collapse of the band. 
And so in the alternate reality, Boulder's still alive. And also in the final, um, one of the final scenes in the game when Saga is is doing the, the big concert scene, you can see Boulder in the sky playing with them. It's crazy. Sorry. Doesn't matter. Nobody cares. Um, <laughs> sorry. Hold on. I missed something. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh, God. Oh. Yeah, of course. I I made him give himself a shout out. I needed to I needed to see it. Oh no, hold on. I got to get the flare gun. I got to get my flare gun. I got five shots in this? Oh, sweet. See, you can't really see it very well here, but in the music video... Hold on, hold on. Fellas, 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 fellas. Fellas, hold on, hold on, hold the phone, so fellas, please, please, please. Spread when you want it, when you want to shit, drink spreaders. <laughs> all right, all right. Why are there people behind me? This, this is, this, sorry, the crystal, welcome in. Um... This is not fair. This is, they're, they're doing me dirty. Fucking good. Oh, no, thank you. I'm good, actually. I'm so good, actually. You don't have a face, but... Oh! Oh, God! Alright, 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 alright. Fellas, fellas, please. Please. Uh, oh. I'm gonna do that. Oh, they're still coming. Alright, I... Alright. Oh, golly. Oh, there's a lot of unhappy people. Oh, there's... Okay, we're we're getting we're getting a little close for comfort here, folks. All right. Sorry, if chat's going right now, I'm I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not paying attention to it. I'm, I'm gonna be real honest with you. Alright. Woo! Alright. Babulis. Uh, 27 pistol bullets? 
Oh boy. Oh boy. I feel like we keep walking the same- OH SH- WOO! No, I'm not dead. Alright, let's try this again. With let's, uh, suck this time. What do y'all think? Yeah. What scared, what scared my heart out of my head is what scared the heart out of my health. Gonna go slow and steady. Slow and steady. Over my corners. Save up on all this ammo. Wait for solo. Incredible. Oh, oh, we got fellas. Come on. I would never, but also, maybe. Really need to do that, that's okay. realize I had oh and I have shotgun ammo for the shotgun that I don't have sick dude so sick come on come on I know you're there oh yeah oh overkill get absolutely fucking dunked on that's what I was trying to do last time incredible Yeah, I'm a hoarder. Listen, ammo... This is hard mode, okay? This is hard mode. I'm allowed to hoard. I lied. I lied. I lied. We're gonna do that.
Artois is honestly not as bad as I thought it would be. It actually kind of goes hard. <laughs> Idiot. Oh. oh, is this is this the jazz interlude section? <laughs> Alan's asleep! <laughs> Alan's finally woke up! We got him, folks. Oh, boy. <clears throat> I didn't see that coming. A vision. Oh, this is the jazz in her loot. Such a dark place, am I trapped in here? Is this real? I cannot remember. There was a manuscript that held a key. A vicious cycle I must not surrender to. Viral, actually. But... To seek out again and again until I figure it it's a sick clatter liming scene. Yeah, I think the game sucks. <laughs> um. As long as my audio is okay. And I thought this place couldn't get any stranger. As long as my audio is okay. Didn't mean to do that. Oh, all my shit's gone. Great. They were like, oh, you're only going to get that for the cutscene. Or for this, the... Oh, Artie. The hero we don't deserve. Truly. Oh, fuck off. They, that was literally just a jump scare for, for fucking shits and giggles. There was literally nothing there. <clears throat> Love that. Love that. It was all about me. This performance the Dark Place was putting on. But I had no control over it. I knew how utterly lost I was. The payphone was ringing again. The mystery caller was back at it. I had to find out more. Alan Wake? Do you know who I am? How the fuck could I? Whoa! There's that famous temper. 
Lucky thing I'm not a paparazzi. You keep jerking me around, refusing to tell me who you are. You remember? You... Oh, fuck me. Alan, 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 listen, listen. Uh, tell me, how much do you remember? Did you visit Parliament Tower? Did you find anything there? Yeah. Alice is in danger. Scratch is reaching out to her, and there, there's another manuscript. Not initiation, return. I saw the title page. I, I don't remember writing it. Return? Oh, man, this is what we're after. The Scratch can't have it. Our, our survival, the survival of the fucking cosmic everything depends on this. Come to me. Ocean View Hotel. I left my room key for you. It's right there on the payphone. Remember, the dark place works in lobes and rituals. If the waves keep pushing you away, you just need to find another way in. We go with the flow of this ocean. Catch you soon, brother. The Ocean View Hotel. A uh, suspicious invitation six, to a six, shady five. meeting. Right on the money for the hard-boiled genre the whole city was built upon. Um, I don't know about that one, Dust. Never, never been high, so feels like it's cheating. Um, fuck off. Um, it's Scratch. Mr. Scratch. the tough thing, babe. Kind of. The story I was building was fragile, constantly under attack. There was no time to waste. The oh, dark presence was only a step behind me. Don't. You didn't see shit. Fuck you. Oh. Oop. Wrong way. Wrong way. <sighs> the Ocean View Hotel, my destination. Sorry, I don't have that sound alert that's, uh, chicken sound alert that's, like, a lot of words you just said there. But that's what I'm, that's what I'm thinking internally. <sighs> Back out on the street. A loop that delivered me back to the street. What did the mystery caller said? If the waves keep pushing you away, you just need to find another way in. With only dream logic to lead me to the hotel, I look to the neon signs for guidance. Sure. Why 
Why not? You're the killer, the cult leader. It's in your eyes. No! You got the wrong man! It's Scratch! There's no time to lose! You're going nowhere. Yeah. I just wanted it to be over. It was all my fault. I'd had this dark place in my head for so long. Sometimes I'd forget the pain was there. Like it was the way you were supposed to feel. I was not in a dark place. Was I dark was place. the dark place. The source of it all. The vessel. Me and the writer, we were the same. <laughs> this place kept pushing me under, getting into my head, poisoning me with darkness. I had to find a way to escape before it was too late. Too late again. Can I, can I grab his pistol, actually? No? Okay. Um, what are, what are you confused about, Dane? Not that I think I can help you, but I'm just curious. <laughs> um, I mean... the same person well sort of the same person correct scratch is the the evil the is the dark presence possessing alan It's, it's Alan in that it is, it is his body, but it is not Alan in that it is not his personality. Um, but they got out together. Um, and Scratch just kind of chooses when to... Why the music's getting so creepy all of a sudden for no fucking reason. <clears throat>
rude. Containers are killing me. put me a fair bit back all right neat didn't mean to do that um uh let's go ahead this Let's try this again. Pretty sure I died here last time. At least a couple of times. Oh, 
Ay, 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 ay. Oh, boy. This is where stuff stops getting fun. This is where, this is where hard gets hard. A good run, folks. <laughs> oh. Question is Should I try and kill some of these shadows before I open the box or open the door? Or are they just all gonna spawn immediately regardless? try a virtual green screen um what does i i don't know what that means that's not true i'm how would that change your i mean obviously you're currently using an actual green screen but um how does that work i guess Quick slot. Yeah, yes. That wasn't ideal, but I'm through that section, so.
You can, I mean, you can give it a shot, right? If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I'm stupid. Did you... Did you just upgrade your CPU or your GPU? Because I think it's... Your GPU that you just upgraded, yeah? Bane, you're just gonna, you're gonna be on a two rig setup soon. You're just gonna be fully gaming. Gonna be gaming on one and streaming on the other. You go fucking badass. That'd be pretty cool though. A two rig setup kind of slabs. I mean, obviously expensive as hell, but. Pretty neat. How's the memory doing? Sorry, who are you? Kidding. Good to see you, Tim. <laughs> yeah, I'd be going. Uh, oh, I got one bullet. I got one bullet. Oh no, Tim, move. Let me get the suitcase. Ah. Oh. Cozy place you got here. You know, your disappearance from Bright Falls is still the only thing that folks talk about. Well. That and Deerfest. Is this where you ended up back in 2010? You know about that? Well, I am the sheriff of Bright Falls. Or I was. Are you related to Sarah Breaker? She was the sheriff of Bright Falls back in 2010. Yeah, she's my cousin. I had a police sketch made of Dor based on my dreams. I sent it around and Sarah recognized the face from an old case file from the 80s. I moved out there to look into it and became sheriff after she left to join the feds. I wonder where Sarah Breaker ended up. What was in the case file about Dor? Not a lot of details in it. A local man named Moreland Dor went missing near Cauldron Lake. Eyewitnesses claim he was struck by a bolt of lightning and just vanished. I never found any official records of a Warland door living in town or anywhere. Another dead end. So Deerfest is still a thing? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's bigger than ever. You know, I got zapped here right before it was about to happen. Funny. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> Not really funny, but... I could see the Ocean View Hotel. I was getting close.
I mean, you've already got two GPUs, so really, Bane, you've got the most expensive part taken care of already. affected where the door led to. And then, I mean, honestly, at that point, you're just... At that point, you're just using fucking... You, you just need to get a, a, new, a whole new PC. Um... Flash bangs. Hello. Incredible. Forgot about flash bangs. Kit. Oh, that was the that was where the shotgun was. Rip. Hotel now and hope for the best. Oh, this is the this is the new cocktail. That's right. I remember this stupid puzzle. The bar menu caught my eye. Two five five.
Is this... Oh, I'm all fucked up. Um... Fucking rip. Which is just trying to hold us down. Really. Which just can't handle how absolutely groovy this stream is. So they're like, yeah, you're gonna shut this guy down. The room was empty except for the projector. More games. Was the film a message waiting to be played? <laughs> that's that's the whole gag though it's the it's the neighbor of the beast that is the number of the beast six six five it's an incredible emote combination in this temple of shadow and mist there's a window in the floor and a door in the ceiling there's no knowing am I standing still or running, or kneeling. Why do I want them to fuck? You're the one who's been calling me. Indeed. I'm Tom Zane. Welcome to the House of Zane. The poet. True. The diver. You look like me. How the hell? Or maybe. You look like me, you handsome devil. The Diver was a beloved character I played in one of my films. I'm a filmmaker, a celebrated auteur. I need answers. Why is Return so important? What? Ah. <laughs> you, you always get worked up like this. Come on, I'll fix you a drink. You and me, Alan. We're in this together. Two artists collaborating, remember? Crafting the keys to our escape. Your magnum opus, Return, and its, its companion piece, my film. Sharing our, our life-altering visions, a, a melding of higher minds. Dreaming up our transcendental work of art. Here, in this room, 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 in this room. In this room. <laughs> um I think he's been smoking being stuck in uh hell for 60 years. I need the clicker. <laughs> it's returned but because we returned. That is how the magic happened. <laughs> Enough of this bullshit. <laughs> Alice is in danger. I need another murder site to go further. Back to Parliament Tower. Scratches. Your wife is safe back in the real New York. But Scratch is reaching for her through an overlap. Return is the key to escaping the dark place. You need to get it before that freak does. <sighs> There's a murder site here in the hotel. Let the waves of your riding carry you there. Hello? They're all yours. If anyone asks, you were never here.
Thomas Zane had ended our talk in what felt like a paranoid fit. I had what I needed from him. There was another murder site in the hotel oh. to guide me further toward my escape. I had to write <laughs> my way to it. Oh. Curtis was wild. That's that's the, the story. Curtis is wild, let's be clear. The word whispers from the police radio kept me awake at night. The word through the ether. A murder in the backdrop of a play featuring a murder cult. <laughs> How meta can you get? He said, looking knowingly at the camera. I could sense the cult of the word in this and their leader, Mr. Scratch. Rumored to be Alan Wake, the writer who'd gone missing years before. The hotel was a perfect setting for a Casey story. Um, a I just heard path. a shitload of uh, thunder. So if we suddenly disappear, <laughs> it's because of that. Um, I so I maybe I'm confusing two parts of the story. But I definitely thought that that I would start at the entrance. That lobby. scene with Zane ended differently the first time than the first time. And maybe maybe this is just the first go around. Maybe there's a second scene. Um, I didn't think there was a, a a call out to the entrance hall set the mood um, where everyone had come in. Control the victim, the murderer, the detective. An idea, clear as a vision, waited for me here. So, you were the director of this play? Yeah, that's me. Our performance of the cult was cursed from the pre-show ritual on. The cult is an immersive theatrical experience. Uh-huh. You're gonna have to walk me through what that means. Immersive theater. A play where the audience can participate, spread across this hotel. The cult is a legend. The only written copy of the manuscript lost, the play is passed on as oral tradition between theater companies. Each company only performs it once. The play was said to have special power. We were like kids playing with a Ouija board. And when you call for the devil, he will come. The pre-show ritual, that's it. Set it up, start from the beginning. Listen, <laughs> Alan is many things. Layers upon layers. A play about a murder cult infiltrated by a real murder cult. Uh, creative is not one of them. And I think that's just from spending 13 years in the dark place. I'd probably be pretty drained too. Quick save there. Oh, boy. The room at the end of the corridor was closed off. Just get me in there. It felt significant. Something yeah. terrible would happen there. Oh, the, all the weird doors and shit. Come <laughs> on. 
needed to find the key. Where the fuck is the key? Is it behind the desk? Probably behind the desk. I probably walked right past it. Around. Huh. Okay, maybe it isn't. story was affecting the scene. The troop were busy building their own wicker man, where they themselves would be sacrificed. The prop room had been changed from room 104 to room 225. I've never seen more small portable coolers in my entire life. Like, it really feels like that's the, the least realistic thing in this game. Is just the, the sheer quantity of, of small coolers just everywhere. Twenty five. Okay, well, that was rude. Holy moly. Kinds of goodies.
Yeah, obviously I want ice cream. Come on. Opportunity to make a bad choice? 100% yes. 100% yes. That's, that's a really good question that I don't have an answer to. Um, Sorry, I was looking at my uh, list here to see if there's any games uh, on sale since the spring sale is going on. There are a couple. I think I was confused about this area in my last playthrough, if I'm going to be completely honest with you. Um, if we're talking, like, basic flavors, um, I like a nice, uh, chocolate. If we're talking very basic flavors. Um, if we're talking, there's, there's got to be more to this room. This is driving me nuts. Um, if we're talking, like, more exciting stuff... Um, I really like Cherry Garcia from Ben and Jerry's, uh, but also uh, fish food from uh, Ben and Jerry's is also quite good. Oh, 
mint chocolate chip does kind of slap. Um, I'm 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 also this is where they gathered before the play. Just not gonna this turn down ice cream. Also, um, except like black walnut. Um, because black walnuts. Another vision. Another idea. Why set up a play in a hotel? Why this hotel? Because the rent is cheap? No. The ocean view was perfect for this. It's said to be haunted. Dark stories about murder, death, suicide. Supposedly, an actual cult once performed an unspeakable ritual to summon something in the ballroom nope. did we summon the same thing tapped into something horrifying it, it seemed like it was part of the play but it wasn't does that sound crazy you don't want to ask me about crazy kid that's crazy ones a haunted hotel yes that's a trope for a reason Gone. Sorry, we missed him. Alright, room two oh nine key, we're making progress. Um, then get that, 100%. This is Dr. Casper Darling, formerly of the Federal Bureau of Control. I think the signal is coming through now. Are you receiving me? I, I, something, something shifted the previously observed interference yes. disrupting my broadcast has got... Uh, fluctuation in gravitational forces, either something moved out of the way or my relative position to a change, but... The alignment and or the uh, condition of this whole plane spiral to a more favorable position. The ordinary rules of reality do not apply here. I expect to describe this place is a dreamscape. But who's the dreamer? Taking readings with the limited equipment 
I've been able to secure, but there is no some withering data accumulating. Hypotheses taking shape. My my struggle with this that the way this place works makes any hypothesis immediately come back to alter and contaminate the data. Anyway, I've been uh, I've been working to capture and isolate and amplify certain frequencies from the background radiation and ambient noise. So. Fun fact, Dr. Casper Darling is actually the voice of Alan Wake. Um, I think most people probably know that at this point, but um, that's a, a quirky little Easter egg there. Um, that the, the actor who uh, portrays and does the motion capture for Alan is not actually the voice of Alan. Um, oh... That's rude. New map, huh? Yep. Look, I've never been to New York, but I can tell you that this ain't it. 